The latest on findings being published in a new book out today on the Shroud of Turin. That's the linen cloth believed to bear Jesus' imprint as he was being prepared for burial. And now there's new research that may disprove the claim of people who've said it's an elaborate fake. ABC's Paula Ferris is here now with the latest. Paula. And it is rare that we get a glimpse of the shroud. The Shroud of Turin, one of the rarest pieces of history, will be on display this weekend in a special televised viewing on Italian state TV Saturday. The exclusive screening is said to be Pope Benedict XVI's parting gift to the Catholic Church. This weekend, for the first time in 40 years, billions of people will be getting a rare televised glimpse at one of the world's greatest unsolved mysteries, the Shroud of Turin. Millions believe this to be the image of Jesus, rarely on display. The Shroud will be on TV and in the palm of your hand. And now, coming on the heels of Good Friday, new life is being breathed into the Shroud of Turin. Just this week, a new app launched, taking the shroud worldwide and into the digital age for the first time. All while new research says the shroud could very well be the real thing. When you consider that, that there are no substances on the cloth that were conceivably used by an artist, and the fact that the blood on the cloth is human blood, it would suggest that the cloth is probably authentic. This 14 foot long linen cloth is believed to have covered Jesus Christ's crucified body 2000 years ago. The fabric is covered in blood stains, dirt and watermarks and displays an actual imprint of a man's face. There was no portrait made of Jesus. So really the shroud still remains the best single thing that we have. Non-believers know the cloth as the fraud of Turin. Over the past century, scientists have used methods Methods such as carbon dating to test the authenticity of the fabric, most recently determining it to be a medieval forgery. But in a new book, scientists at Padua University in northern Italy say they've unraveled that claim. Still, it's not just seeing, it's believing that makes the difference. The shroud can never replace faith. I don't think we can ever know for sure whether the shroud is absolutely authentic because we don't have the DNA of Jesus to match it up with something that we might extract from the shroud itself. Now, the Vatican does not have a position on the shroud's authenticity. However, a previous pope wrote the shroud was, quote, a truly mysterious image which no human artistry was capable of producing, Lara. But we have the book, the broadcast, and now the app. All right. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Paula.